Hello friends, <laughs> welcome to my channel. Uh, so today, because it's a channel about uh, solo motherhood by choice, I decided to talk a little bit about uh, solo pregnancy, because this is a whole different uh, ball game. So um, coming into pregnancy, first of all, I didn't expect it would be that hard. I think in hindsight, I think it's more difficult than half, half Ironman to take to gun or marathons and generally any sport activities. So um, there's always something in pregnancy. Basically, every day is different, but there is always something. First trimester would be nausea, uh, extreme tiredness. Uh, I still continue my PT, but my PT was basically laughing at me because I could fall asleep any any time anywhere. Um, I'm pretty sure I had the de uh, depression in first trimester. Then second trimester came with um, a little bit more energy, but I still could sleep quite a lot. I had few days of insomnia, but I think it was due to COVID. Um, my mood was better. I could exercise a little bit more, but I had a lot of horrible pain and aches. I just couldn't stand. I couldn't walk and so on. And third trimester uh, is again uh, a lot of pains and aches, uncomfortable, very tired. Um, yeah, so um, first of all, I think my attitude toward solo pregnancy changes um, along with my hormones. <laughs> I noticed, uh, especially, I mean, I noticed before, but generally, like, pregnancy uh, showed me and proved a lot that hormones do affect um, how I'm feeling about certain things. So the, the hardest was first trimester, and I was shocked by that because um, I pretty much planned it I mean, not plan, but generally, I, I thought about it long time and I came uh, into the pregnancy knowing what I'm getting into in the sense of like solo motherhood and so on. So I was pretty shocked that I had so many doubts about uh, pregnancy and uh, motherhood in first trimester so very quickly. Uh, I think it was related to the hormones because as I said, I was struggling with depression in my first trimester. And I had a lot of negative thoughts, it's like, first of all, how am I going to cope in the sense of, like, if I cannot walk my dogs, how can I take care of my baby? Um, I was just really in a bad place. Um, also, like, I had a thought, like, I started hearing a lot of thoughts from moms that uh, they couldn't connect with their baby from the beginning, even if... Uh, it was a fruit of uh, marriage um, so um, I was a bit afraid that I won't be able to connect my baby straight away that uh, she won't like me that I won't like her that um, um, it was just very difficult first trimester yeah I had a lot of doubts uh, and <laughs> the biggest if it was just few weeks like that, I, I cannot survive whole nine months like that because it was really, really hard on me. First trimester was really hard. Um, second trimester was was good because my mood lifted. Uh, I stopped having these thoughts at all. I felt much, much better and more confident in my choice and I started to get more excited about the baby coming. Also, like, about this. So in first trimester, when I went to midwives or generally any doctor, and I started sharing my thoughts, what I didn't like, they were kind of implying that I have a choice of terminating pregnancy instead of actually supporting me. Um, which now I'm looking in hindsight, I think it's a bit weird to be honest. But I think it's partly culture in UK that, you know, like there is like the whole choice thing. I mean, like it's your body, so. It's more, it's more, um, how to say that? Well, basically abortion is allowed in UK, right? So I think part of the reason is this, that um, they give a woman a choice what she's doing with her body. So I think that was the approach, but 
to be honest. Like, I would expect a little bit more understanding that depression in pregnancy is a real thing and it doesn't necessarily mean that this is actually your, your fault, your common sense. It's more like the hormone stocking and the depression and so on. So, um, yeah, I was a bit uh, gutted by this. Anyway, so my second trimester was much, much better. So yeah, I didn't have much time to think uh, about uh, the hard part of pregnancy because I was so busy with moving flat, with buying the flat, with um, nesting, until my nesting period. I actually really like this part. Um, yeah, so I felt much better in second trimester. And coming into third trimester is slightly, it's like combination first and second trimester. Combination in a sense, I'm positive in my choice. And I'm super excited to meet my baby girl. It's just, I start more and more often, I feel like, oh, my, ba my daughter needs a father. <laughs> I think the hormones are, uh, you know, like, um, in and with along with the nesting of preparing for the childbirth preparing for her coming and starting to you know like planning and so on i started to have like this this thought that yeah i should be cooking more i should be more like a housewife i should be more um like a mom material and also like there should be father in the picture so i'm getting a bit um, anxious about this one um but yeah, it's, it's still fine, so I'm excited for to, to greet my baby there. And yeah, that's basically, so solo pregnancy, so um, yeah, so this was the biggest challenge in terms of being a uh, pregnancy solo. I was like, in first trimester, I really struggled to do basic stuff, so uh, it was really, really hard. I cannot imagine having a second child, for example, and being pregnant solo. It's like, I don't know how women do that. Honestly, I, I have no idea. It's so hard. Um, yeah. So let me know what you think of, uh, about this. Um, I'm looking forward to your comments. And thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.